How the fuck are you, you little weak events? You got a some beers deep galactic criminal on your hands. Looking to do a little throwback to a low key scene band that blew up before Low Jack. Haven't heard him in 15 fucking years. I bet you didn't know that. From my hometown, St. Catharines. I wish you didn't know that. <laughs> Look, I'm a fish! I am a fish! <laughs> Can you believe it? I am so fishy! Fish! <laughs> no! Shut up! You are dumb! <laughs> now, I'm not exactly sure what brought this to mind, but I do believe this band, Alexis on Fire, was my first official introduction into metalcore, before I even knew what it was. Anyone in the scene that I was friends with always called bands like this, like, emo core, screamo type bands. But I did see them a few times, and I kind of felt like they were more like, like a hardcore punk screaming. I didn't know really what to call them, but they blew up pretty fucking fast. Their one member, Dallas Green, was working at the West 49 skate shop at the mall in my town. And he was giving away their fucking demo, Access on Fire demo, for free. So I went and seen them, and I had a pretty good time. Now, from what I recall, and I never really found out if this was true or not, was that the band was actually supposed to be called Alex is on Fire, and then people were pronouncing it differently, because it was all one word, and then it became Alex is on Fire. I don't know. Maybe it's true. Maybe it's not. But I do remember when their first single, this one, Pulmonary Archery, came out on Much Music, they spelled it wrong in the in the title. They fucking they called it something else. And again, I'm just recalling, but they spelled it something different, and it was funny. <laughs> now this video is gonna be a bit different because my most current video is still fucking rendering, so I'm watching this on the Xbox. I just thought it'd be really interesting to check out a fucking song and video that I haven't seen or heard in like 15 fucking years. So let's do this bitch, pulmonary archery, with one, two, <laughs> I'm excited! Yeah! Turn it up! Man! Man, nostalgia! Yeah. 
Wow! Man! Ah! Oh. <laughs> that is... Dude! That is a massive, massive hit of nostalgia. Massive hit of nostalgia. Man, the fucking, the memories that are just flooding right now. Unfucking real. Unfucking real. I mean, I can, I can remember seeing these guys live. And I think it was only a couple of times. In a couple of, like, underground, like, St. Catharines venues before they... Really, just before they blew up, I guess, like, friends of mine were, like, fans of them before me. And then they got this music video on, on Much Music, and then they exploded and just disappeared into the fucking ether and became something completely else. I mean, I've heard a couple of their tracks over the years of, like, the evolution of the group, and it's just... It's different. I don't, I don't know. I, it's not something that I've really continued to follow with. I just... I remember just this band, these moments, and that scene... Them playing in one scene. What was it fucking called? The, was it the Vine? It was something like that. And the fucking the singer, I don't remember his name, was fucking hanging from the rafters while he was doing the scream. And from what I do recall, from like over the years, he was doing the scream incorrectly. Maybe he wasn't. I'm pretty sure he was and had to fucking tone back on it because he was literally just screaming. It wasn't like, really, like the techniques that you hear nowadays that people are able to do it for years and years. So the band toned back on like the screaming element and became something entirely different. But when you would see them live, even from like this song itself, it was so much more aggressive. It was so much louder and so much more aggressive live. It's so hard to even describe the, the feeling <laughs> of this band in those days dude it was fuck that was badass and honestly even now hearing this song thinking about the bands that we would call screamo and you've seen like other metal youtubers be like oh people don't know what metal and hardcore and deathcore really are so they just call it screamo this was the type of group that people that i knew at least would call screamo because it would be screaming an emo. It was like it was like emotional, melodic music with scream. Now I believe this is I could you would call this metalcore, I think. I don't really know. <laughs> but I kind of feel like this was like my first like jump into to that genre, I guess. But it was really the only band like this that I listened to back then. Again, because like I got like the demo and it was like I kind of knew the guy, so we fucking went to the shows. It was interesting, but I never really got into that. And I, I've said before in other videos, you go to like see, like uh, like metal bands or punk bands or ska bands, and there'd be like bands like this that were peppered in throughout it. And as soon as we would, as soon as myself and my friends would hear the band start, they would sound like this. We'd go outside. We're like, fuck this. I don't want to listen to this crap. Go outside, smoke a joint. <laughs> we'll come back when they're done. You know. So I, I feel kind of let down to myself that I, I wasn't more exposed to this style of music earlier on. So I would have heard a lot of the bands, you know, throughout the years that I've come to love through doing this channel. Just, it's it's so incredibly, it's incredibly interesting to me. I've said, again, I've said before, even just like my taste in music from starting my channel until now, and then seeing something like this, just like, man, I was, I was so close. I was, I was right there. <laughs> now, this isn't really, uh, this isn't really a video for me to fucking critique. This video is not necessarily a review. This is just a, a throwback, a nostalgia hit for myself. So I, I like this. I like this a lot, still to this day. I don't care what you think, honestly. This isn't one where I'm going to be like, what did you think about it? I'm really interested. I honestly don't fucking care, unless you liked it. <laughs> also, beers. <laughs> So, hey, I don't care what you thought about it, but if you feel like commenting, do so if you must. Of course, there'll be a link in the description for this video, so you can go and watch it for yourself, for screen for audio, and get the full experience. And as always, have yourself a fantastic evening. <laughs>